In this video, I'm gonna share with you five tips to help you select a good trout stream. Let's dive right in. Got it, got it. This fish is way too big for this net. Just a brute. Just a big fish, and it's time to let her go. Oh, just yes, yes! Oh my goodness! Huge creek brown. Just an awesome, awesome. Oh man. Tip number one is gonna to be to use the maps that you have right at the tips of your finger. If you have a phone or a computer, you can access these maps. So in the state of Michigan, the DNR uh, webpage, I'll post a link to it, has a list of all the inland trout streams. You can see that it has the types of streams and the names of the streams. So that's a great place to start is just by pulling up this map and seeing what are the designated trout streams in your area. So when you're using this map, I like to just start close to home and I work my way out from there. Tip number two is really simple. It's gonna be stay away from big cities and heavily populated areas. Tip number three is to find the well-known rivers and do not fish those. <laughs> so I just like to stay away from the really popular rivers, the really crowded areas. Uh, this is just something that I've done. So that's tip number three. Tip number four is gonna be to check the water temperature, especially during the summertime when the water's hot. Go there, see what that water temp is, find out if it's too warm to really have a lot of fish or if it's uh, just right. So in the peak of the summertime, usually I'm looking for something that's 70 degrees or under. That's gonna be your best bet. Tip number five is gonna to be to start small. So once you've found a spot that you like the looks of on the map, you've gone there, you've looked at the water temperature, everything looks good, go upstream a few sections, start in a really small section. It's just gonna be a lot easier to fish for a beginner, a lot less places to fish. When you're starting out, it's so overwhelming. There's so many spots where you can throw that lure and those fish will hold so tight to cover. And so the smaller you start, I think it's easier because there's less spots for them to hide. You can pinpoint where they might be easier. I just think it's a lot easier when you start in a smaller river and there's a lot less fishermen usually in those areas. So I know I said I was only gonna give you five tips, but there's a bonus one. Uh, one more thing that I think is kind of a lost art is talking to the old timers. And I mean no disrespect by saying old timers, but. I have learned so much just talking with the older generation. They've been here before, they've done it before. Trout fishermen are so tight-lipped. It's so hard to get any information, but if you are humble and you are willing to listen, they will talk. They love telling stories and they love having someone that will listen to them tell stories. Don't expect to just go up to some old timer and be like, hey, where's your favorite trout spot? They're not gonna tell you they're very tight-lipped. But the goal isn't just to find one you know, good spot. The goal is to uh, take pieces of information, put it all together to make you a more equipped angler. Well, that's all I got for you in this video, guys. I hope that it is very helpful to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If it was uh, helpful and you wanna see more of this, let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, more how-to and fishing tips and techniques and uh, tight lines. Good luck out there. Hope you catch a big one.